before we begin, we wanted to give you a little bit of background about how the course is going to be structured, as well as a couple of notes on how to take this course. Now, we recognize that most people coming into this course will have heard something about GMOs, and some may be coming with some pretty strong views, either for or against. We want to make this a place where anybody can come, and we'll be able to learn, and we'll be able to discuss their views, as well as the things that we're learning, in a positive environment. So, necessarily, we're going to have pieces of this course where we're presenting one side of the argument or the other. But rest assured, we're going to be talking about both sides eventually, and we do want all to be able to share and take part. And you'll have a chance to share your own feelings with other members of the course. Talking about this course structure, in the first week, we're going to start out talking about why GMOs. This is going to be all of the arguments for why GMOs are a good thing, how they can address problems, as well as just defining what a GMO is. The second week, we turn to why not GMOs. So, how are they potentially risky? And what sorts of other concerns might we have about what GMOs might do to consumers or to the environment? The third week, we turn to the role of science. We look at how science can help determine what sorts of GMOs we could bring to market, which ones are safe and which ones aren't. As well, we look at the limits of science, what science can't answer, and how this sorts of information gets translated to the public. In the fourth week, we turn to the role of politics. So, scientists aren't the ones who decide what gets us out to market and what, uh, what policies actually take place. It's the politicians, it's the, the political interest groups, and it's the regulation of GMOs that play a role. And we'll take a look at how that all works to create this, this global economy of food products. And finally, in the fifth week, we'll turn to you and how the individual can process all this information and help to determine whether, whether GMOs are right for them or not. So, get ready and uh, let's learn.